Hello everyone, it's Easy from mslimitblog.com and here is a comparison video between the latest Insider build for Windows 10 Mobile that is 14.322 I'm going to compare it with the uh, production level Windows 10 Mobile build which is 10.586 So the first feature I'm going to show you um, it's kind of controversial real quick when you make a call you now have an option to record that call uh, as you can see this option is not available in the well, I can demo it here but it is not available in the uh, regular Windows 10 mobile uh, next up you can now customize your uh, quick action buttons here Go to settings. Um, go here, notifications and actions, and all you have to do is hold down, and you can move that anywhere, and rearrange your quick action buttons. On the regular Windows 10, however, when you go in, as you can see. A quick difference so there uh, what you do is you hold down and you have a list and you get you can actually just customize the bottom five um, so like some made it possible you can now customize all three rows actually four um, on the latest build you can also remove or add and there are all your quick action buttons you can remove or add whichever one um, you don't use so uh, that's a notable feature uh, next up you can see the differences in the settings page there are now icons next to your setting options uh, on the regular windows 10 mobile they are not there so uh, that's a nice feature to look at too uh, the battery setting also is now quite different as you can see uh, it is more granular in uh, you can you can see a detailed view of how apps use your battery life you can say in the last 24 hours last six hours in the last one week you can see what apps are draining your battery right there that option is not available if i go into battery use on the regular windows 10 and that option is simply not available oh you have the 24 hours 48 hours and one week well here you've got six hours and four hours and so it's quite different so but you can see the settings have changed you can see apps with usage you can just select all apps and you know different settings right there uh, next up the windows update page so go into phone updates you can see the option on regular Windows 10 here it says advanced options you can choose automatic or notify to schedule a restart right here you can choose um, save active hours you can choose what hours you want um, the update to not run so you can see these are the active hours are actively using my phone they'll do an update so you can so if usually that would be like from 7 a.m. to 12 midnight depends but those are hours where you typically use your phone so you just set the period in here and your phone run updates um, outside those active hours you have restart options you can do a custom restart so if you want your phone to reboot uh, you can override do a custom restart here no there is no so actually this happens when you uh, select your active hours so from 5 a.m. to 11 p.m., save that, go in here. You should be able to turn that on. So I say save. Uh, I'm not sure what, why the settings are grayed out, but we'll look into that. So uh, another notable feature is you can go into your uh, messaging here and you have new, I'm trying to see where the 
image and icons are. So there you have your new emojis for us on uh, see what they look like here so that is quite big difference so you can see the difference uh, they have black border lines now they look more fancy there's a lot more of them uh, just to compare real quick see the differences you can swipe up same thing here you can change the complexion skin tone of your emojis and it changes for all of them same thing here so um that is one of the big differences coming with the anniversary update the new emojis here and another feature i love too is now when you go into your uh, edge browser you can select on a word and you have automatically you can copy that word whereas here on regular windows 10 select on a word there is no option to copy i think you have to hold it down then you have to hit copy but now you just once you select whatever text it is automatically you've got that option to immediately just copy that text then another feature phone is locked uh, as you can see the glance screen fonts are now smaller because I'm using a display of less than 300% so it now matches whatever display uh, settings scaling you use from settings um, even though I have the same setting here the glance screen the font is still bigger so I might have adjusted uh, the glance screen uh, font there to match whatever you have in your display setting and what else you've got your music uh, sorry, your camera button now is accessible from the lock screen. So I can press this down to launch the camera on Windows 10. That simply isn't available yet. You just have a back button. So there I can launch the camera. And uh, also now when you are listening to music. So I'm going to go here. When you're playing a song and your screen is locked, uh, it appears up there on your lock screen. Whereas on regular Windows 10, turn down the volume. So even when your phone is locked, it's not on your lock screen, you need to access the media controls by using your volume buttons. That's the only way you can access your media controls. So uh, with the new Windows 10 updates, you have access to your media buttons on your lock screen. This is a feature that has been clamored on by uh, Windows Phone users for a long time now. So it's good to see that on the lock screen as well. Uh, Windows 10, with this 14.3.2.2 update is really stacking up uh, almost on par with Windows Phone 8.1 and it's also uh, getting closer to Android status. Uh, Microsoft is really working hard to bring down the updates. They're supporting over um, features, updates from Windows Phone 8.1. I reckon once they're done with pushing over all the features that made Windows 8.1 great, then we will see even more features from like Android uh, talking about like probably see a transparent uh, notification center here. Uh, speaking of notification centers, uh, there is a neat update here too. You can actually go down on a notification. You can choose to make that app high priority or you can turn off the notifications for that app or you can actually go into the notification settings for more customization. So. Uh, yeah, that is it with the um, notifications and um, also Cortana has uh, you can set reminders now you can say remind
can search for it. Oh, it crashed, I'm not sure. So another feature, you can now search for your music tags by using the music tag button. What it does, it listens for music and it tells you what songs play. Um, with Windows 10, that button is missing. To access it, you first have to put Cortana in listening mode. Then the button appears. Then yeah, So it's like a two-step process. Uh, with the new Windows 10 mobile, however, it's right there on Cortana's landing page. So, like I said, if I'm going to do a remind me, so I'll do that. I'll do the same thing here on Windows 10. So you can see real quick the differences uh, with the new on the latest update to Windows 10 Mobile. You can actually add a picture from your gallery or take a live photo. Um, that option is not yet available. It's coming to Windows 10. So all these features I just demoed on 14.322 will eventually come to Windows 10. Um, if you do want to use these features, you have to enroll in the Windows Insider view, uh, register, download the app on your Windows 10 mobile phone, and put yourself on the first ring. However, there are bugs associated with this beta build. So what Microsoft does is they require your feedback and um, Eventually, once everything's all smoothed and out, it gets transferred or updated on people who are not enrolled in the Windows Insider build. So there's regular users. So uh, as a Windows Insider, you get the uh, opportunity to test out the latest builds and stuff. So yeah, uh, that is a quick look at some of the new features that are coming to Windows 10. All these features will, will be bundled together and be released in July called uh, the anniversary update to be pushed out to Windows 10 mobile phones in July. Uh, more features are coming, but this is the first of many videos showing new features that are coming. So stay tuned, um, subscribe to this channel. If I have any questions, leave it in the comment below. Um, I used a 950 and a Lumia 650 to uh, run these demos today. Again, this is easy. Thanks for watching. Bye.